Hey guys, welcome back to another Daniel Discuss. So, as you can see, I'm sitting out here, recording on the outside. I finally got a video camera so now I can record in better quality, stable, with the you know, tripod and everything, like a Nim Nim now. <laughs> so, today we're going to be discussing Darkfall and, you know, how hard Mega Capital G was riding that deck. Darkfall is the new fusion out in the hero structure that's coming out, and it is a Dark Warrior fusion effect, level 6, 2400 attack, 1800 defense. Its effect is, must be special summoned by mass change and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. Once per turn, when your opponent adds a card or cards from their main deck to their hand, except during the draw phase, you can banish one random card your, from your opponent's hand. Alright, so this card is good. I, I wouldn't say that it's bad. It's good. It's a really good future card. But it's not competitive at all, and it's definitely not what the hero deck needed at all to be competitive. Now, Mega Capital G recently put up a video saying that this card was broken and that, you know, it's totally what the heroes need to bring it back, and it's not. It's not broken. Do you even know what the definition of broken is? <laughs> he was dick riding Darko hard. Hard. <laughs> it was like that episode of Boondocks, you know, with Obama. You know, it was like, dick riding that dark law. <laughs> he was just going hard on it. And I was just like, he's not broken. The definition of broken means to break the game, to change the format. And this this one card definitely does it. And he doesn't do it. And I'm going to explain to you why the competitive version of Heroes would definitely not be running. One thing is, it's too cute. It's definitely, it's too cute of a card. you got to run cards that you don't really run in Heroes. And when I explain... What I mean by too cute, that'll be in a separate video. I'll explain in more detail about what too cute means. But just know right now, he's too cute to be in a competitive deck. You gotta run mass change. The competitive version of heroes don't run mass change, and they shouldn't because it's neg one. And so far, what you're mass changing into isn't really worth it. There's a hero version where you know you. It's cool. It's it's a cute move where you can go absolute zero mass change into acid and you know wipe the entire field. That's a cute play. But keep in mind once again that mass change is a neg one. It's also a spot filler and it's a neg one card in a deck that likes to plus. You know, before plus one fire freeze came out, there was a deck that ran the low monster count and lots of back row and like to one up you in plus, and that was heroes. Then you know, as soon as Stratus got banned, the deck kind of you know everybody left the deck but it's still fine so there's definitely that's one of the key reasons why it will never be competitive because you got to run mass change and mass change is just not a competitive card we're assuming that you're going to be mass changing off of shadow mist correct so we're assuming that you're going to go ahead use shadow mist mass change into it into this uh dark law and then shadow mist will go ahead and get her effect to go ahead and search because she was a sensitive graveyard correct if you use her effect when she's special summoned, which I'm assuming that that's that's one of your plays that you're planning on doing. Uh, for example, maybe you want to go like summon among pitch, summon her, search for a, uh, a mass change, and change her. You know, you only get one of her effects once per turn, and only once that turn. Therefore, you won't get to search. So you're still negative. So unless you have mass change already in your hand, and you already got this, the shadow mist already in your hand, you're going to be negging off of this play. Kind of contradicts what the heroes want to do, and that's to plus be up on your opponent and you know one of the key cards that heroes like to play in their deck yeah skill drain you know his effect skill drain yeah that kind of co uh, conflicts uh, his stats aren't that good definitely not you know 2400 that's not even the attack barrier you know his redeeming quality is that banish effect because when it comes to banishing, you know, Macro and Defisher, that one for a reason. Macro and Defisher hurt a lot of decks. I mean, Mermel, it hurts Bujin, so definitely. And ironically, it actually hurts heroes, so it's a good thing that Konami didn't say both players, or it would be even worse, because that would just be terrible. Because the, the competitive version of heroes, they are very graveyard reliant. Their effects go off in the grave. Uh, they really don't care about field effects, and that's the reason why they're on skill drinks. The monsters you're going to be running are Alias, Bubble Man, Shadow Mist, that's pretty much all your heroes. Uh, you're going to be running Thunder King because, once again, you're a one-up deck that likes to plus, so Thunder King can lock that duel down at times with a nice amount of back row. And, of course, your new Saving Grace cards that you're definitely going to be running in your hero deck, Fire and Ice Hand, yes, definitely, I'm going to be doing another separate video talking about them, but definitely Fire and Ice Hand. You're going to be running that Skill Drain, Skill Drain, you know, to get 
stuff on the field. Look at all those all those monsters that I just named up on the field. They don't care about their effects on the field. They're they are in hand. They're a normal monster like Alias, or they all go in the green. So they don't care. Your fusion, shining and absolute zero. They don't give a shit about their effects on the field. I mean, shiny. I guess he cares with a little bit of attack increase, but no one gives a shit about that. It's all about that getting your monsters back. What you're getting back with your miracle fusions. So once again, this whole dark log, he's going out of the way and going out of the loop of the competitive version of the hero deck. The other thing is that you're filling up the extra deck with running him because you're going to be running, of course, your shinings or absolute zeros. Now you're running mass chains, so now, of course, you're, since you're going to run dark log, you're going to run mass chains. I'm just assuming that you're going to be running acid. Um, depending on how you build your deck, if you're going to have to fit an uh, earth uh, hero, which I really can't think of any earth heroes that you should be running, you can mass change into the end. And of course, you got your uh, XCs, your fours. You're, you're pretty much your staples, your one on ones, your exitons, your you know stuff like that. Because if you're not doing that, then why are you in Bubble Man? So pretty much, your extra deck is getting really filled, and just the mass change and running those mass change heroes are just putting even more pressure onto your onto your extra deck, and your extra deck is getting so filled that you're not going to be able to run all of those different element types for those situations for your super poly. So now. You want to go with the mass change players, you want to go with your super poly plays, because it seems like your super poly plays would be more versatile, you'd be able to run each one of your elements, be able to super poly into any situation, but, you know, if you're going to fill up your extra deck like that, you're just not going to have room. The second effect that Mega Capital G was dick riding on about how, oh, you know, the searching thing, keep in mind that's once per turn. Once per turn, so if your opponent has two searching cards, you get one, and you only get one. <laughs> it's like Spider-Man. But... This effect is assuming that your opponent is an idiot. If your opponent, if you ever pull that effect off on your opponent, your opponent's an idiot. They should wait it out. But essentially, if you have this on the field and your opponent goes search for something and you banish something in your hand, that's essentially the same thing as trying to play a search card while I have Thunder King Rhino on the field. Because you clearly see it there. There is no element of surprise. And that's the thing with him, Thunder King Ryo, Mistake, and Mind Crush. The trap cards, that's element of surprise. You played the tanky, I flip a mind crash. Oh, you didn't see that coming. That wasn't part of your plan. It's not like Thunder King Ryo where you clearly see it sitting there on the field and you decide to activate the search card and let it fizzle because you're an idiot. Same thing with mind crash. You search that card when you got that card in your hand, and I know you got that card in your hand, I'm gonna flip up my mind crash and I'm gonna call it because I know now that you got it. That's another element of surprise. So pretty much this effect, pretty much, if this ever goes off on your opponent, your opponent's an idiot. They should wait it out. His stats aren't that good. He's 2400. You could summon a freaking Utopia and run it over. So, like I said, he's a good card. I wouldn't call him trash. I just really wouldn't call him broken tier one overhyped things like Mega Capital G. And I'm not bagging on Cap Mega Capital G. I like Mega Capital G. But really, he overhyped that card like hella. And I just wanted to, you know, break it down for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. Another episode of Gang Discusses. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys next time in another live video. Thanks for watching.